Hey, hey, here we are again. Hey, are you signing up for a race? Are you wondering what kind of training to do? How to plan? Maybe looking for new ideas? Well, guess what? It's your lucky day. We're gonna share our training plans with you because... We've signed up for the Run Disney, Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend, full marathon. Yay, January 2020, <laughs> we're gonna be there. Oh man, we're gonna run our first ever full marathon. Stick around, we're talking about it today. So if you're looking for a training program, you know, one of the best places to go to is uh, the Run Disney website. You can go there, you can find a training program. They have training programs for 5Ks, 10Ks, half, full, all of their challenge runs. Uh, and they're tailored for beginners or experts. But we adjust the plans a little bit. Whatever we find, we're gonna adjust it just a little bit for us. And we wanted to share with you how exactly we do that and right. how we go about doing it. Yeah. So the point of any training plan, obviously, is to get you ready for race day. Mm -hmm. So they will generally increase your mileage week over week or maybe every other week until you finally get to either your goal distance. For us, that's going to be 26.2. 26.2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, you know, within a mile or two of that. So close enough that you know you can do it. <laughs> I was just going to say, because, you know, I mentioned earlier that uh, every training plan should be tailored to you. And we found that by tailoring uh, these training plans for us, it really worked out well because last year we ran the half marathon with this new kind of tweaked training plan. And it was fantastic. It was fantastic. So uh, how did you do that? All right. So just about every training plan that you will find anywhere on the internet and running books and running magazines, even this Jeff Galloway uh, run Disney training plan will have you running three times a week. So you do two short maintenance runs. They're usually like three miles, uh, easy three. Easy three. <laughs> and then, you know, usually on the weekend, because as we get into more and more miles, this becomes a more time consuming right. run, uh, you're going to add those miles. So that will be your long run per week. What I've found in the past when I or we have, have done this sort of training plan is that we do really, really well for the first like four weeks. And then we have a tendency to only do the long runs. So those maintenance runs, they're out the window yeah. because we love running. Who really wants to run three times a week? We have a really hard time making ourselves run three times a week. We live in Texas, it's hot, it's sticky. <sighs> I don't want to run three times a week. So I decided that perhaps we could do some other kind of cardio on those days. And we found that we actually stuck to our training plan for the whole period, the yeah. whole duration of the training plan. Yeah. And so when race day finally came, even though we were doing something crazy, which was running a 10K one day and a half marathon the next day, we were totally prepared. We felt great. We, we ran those things. Mm -hmm. We did. we did better than we thought we were going to do because we were totally prepared. It's really neat too because you break up the week, right? It's really hard. You know, we all have lives and you get busy. And one of the things you don't want to do is get so disappointed in not hitting your weekly goals that you give up. Domino effect. Don't Spiral give up. Control yeah, it. don't give up. So what we found was mm -hmm. instead of running, we do other cardios. We're gonna we're gonna go swim. We're gonna mm -hmm. do some high intensity workouts mm -hmm. here in the house. We're gonna play pickleball. Pickleball. It's that, awesome. Oh, it's awesome and actually kind of dangerous for us, but we have a great time and it enables us to get our cardio in, mm -hmm. in a different way and help us maintain that kind of uh, momentum. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's fantastic. So we do that two days a week. I've also worked into our plan two days of strength training. 
Sometimes it's core work, sometimes it's leg work. Uh, this go, I wanna do a little more chest and upper body. I mean, it's all connected, right? Me. So it's all connected. I have this short pain in my shoulder. I've had it for four weeks, it's driving me insane. It has to do with something up here. It's, yeah. it's all connected. So we figure if we strengthen everything, mm -hmm. we'll be able to run uh, better. So uh, cardio, strength, and then because there's two extra days in the week, so that's two days a week on strength, two days a week on cardio, one day on the long run, there's two days left, you know, let's, let's even things out and plan to do some, are you questioning my mouth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we have a couple of freebie, you know, low key kind of recovery days. Yeah. Um, normally it's stretching. We're probably going to try to incorporate some foam rolling and things like that. We've done some preliminary research that says when you start getting into a lot of miles, yeah. things like foam rolling can really help prevent Injury. So now the, the Run Disney plan, fantastic plan. It works for a ton of people Lots and of people. it is a great plan, but we decided to tweak it just a little bit for us. But you get a plan, you have it, how are you gonna track it? Right, so, so step one is figuring out what your plan is. Step two is figuring out a way to track your progress. Um, I'm a, an avid list maker. I really, really, really like scratching things off of lists. So the same concept applies to training for a race. Um, I found that actually physically making a tracker for every race that we run is a lot of fun. It get, really gets me in the mode to start training. It gets me really excited about the whole training process. Uh, what we do is I actually, I will draw a grid <laughs> for however many weeks in the training plan that we have, um, how many days we're planning to train per week or shooting for per week, because I mean, <laughs> even the best, right. we did great last time, we still didn't do 100%, obviously. Okay. Uh, so I, I get this whole chart together and I put it on the fridge. You know, the point is to have it somewhere, for us, the point is to have it somewhere that we see it every day and it oh. keeps us motivated. And as we track our progress day after day, we have a sense of accomplishment and a sense of confidence. So when we get to that, those last few weeks before the race, we know we're gonna be okay. We see it every day. It's a tangible reminder that we're doing something and that we're making progress. So, so we, you know, we love having it on our fridge, but because we're a couple of goofballs, we do something a little bit extra with yeah. our chart. So I'm a fan of the gold, what I call the gold star system. Uh, I have accomplished many things in my adult life with this gold star system that is meant for five-year-olds, <laughs> okay? So don't let anybody tell you that this is for kids, okay? It works for grown-ups oh, too. Yeah. So for a long time, we actually used gold stars. Uh -huh. Long time, until the last race when I thought, you know what, we're doing two races in a row. This is crazy. Star Wars theme. Star Wars, how can we make this a little more fun? So we got on Amazon. We bought some Star Wars themed huh. reward stickers. Yeah. That's the search term to look for if you're into this idea and want to try it yourself. Yeah. This time, since we're doing the Walt Disney World Marathon, there's no theme other than Disney. So we got some Mickey stickers. <laughs> they're all over our fridge right yeah, now. They're fantastic. <laughs> so it's our, uh, our themed reminder of what we're working towards. So every time we accomplish uh, the goal for the day, at the end of uh, our workout, whatever it might be, we come up to our chart and we put our uh, sticker on that day. So this is our first full week of training. Today, we go on a three miler, or as we like to uh, affectionately refer to it as- Easy three. Easy three. It's never easy, but it's our first full week. We're ready to go. We'll be right back. We just finished our uh, three mile run. Our easy three. Our easy three, it wasn't so it was easy. It's miserable. It's about uh, 79 degrees, the humidity is off the charts. 90%, I looked it up. Oh really? Maybe. Yes, 90%. and full sun the whole time. So it yeah. was difficult. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was running backwards. 
I'm certain I could have walked faster for at least the second half of it. Yeah, it was it was rough, but we did it. A pretty good, uh, pretty good run today. A terrible good run. Yeah, a, a terrible good. It run. was. It was awful. It was awful. But we did it. We yeah, did it. Yeah. You can too. Remember, everywhere we go, it's always an adventure with you.